Hey everyone, it's Sandy and I'm here today to share with you a layout that I just made the other day using my uh, March click kit and it's featuring the Maggie Holmes collection. Anyway, so um, I just started by getting a 12 by 12 uh, piece of paper and then I pulled out a 12 by 12 sheet that came in the kit to, um, well I thought I was going to use it actually for the actually for the base of my layout but then I thought no I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little pattern out so I cut three strips out one strip is a single one with the design the other one has two pieces and then another single design I hope that makes sense because I can't think of what those squiggly marks are anyways and then I just used some glue to glue them down and I used this um new adhesive that I bought and it's the first time I used it I ended up liking it a lot so I had these two pictures of the girls me and the girls were on vacation for spring break a couple of weeks ago we got to spend some time with Erica in, in um, Illinois and then we went to California for the rest of spring break and these pictures were taken at the farmers market we went to the farmers market when we got there and we had some uh, brunch there and just did some shopping and the girls found these sunglasses that they absolutely loved but Isabel ended up losing hers like three days into the trip there. So anyways, I took these two pictures of the girls and I really like them because, <coughs> excuse me, I like the the brick pattern behind them and I just love the way they both have their sunglasses. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to do with this layout, I knew I wanted the title to be Hello Sunshine. And I thought, you know, I was going to use these two pictures. So I'm just going through the ephemera pack and I'm just going through it and seeing what I want to use on the layout. Of course, I'm cutting up the pieces of ephemera like I normally do because I figure why waste it all behind a picture when I'm only going to be showing a little bit. I really love that Friday, Saturday, Sunday ticket that has the red, pink, and yellow because it reminds me of like being at the market, you know, like just, I don't know, it's just really cool. So I like that. The butterflies I put behind there and I'm just finding little pieces. Some pieces I've already cut up from a previous layout I've done. And then I'm just adding them back there. I'm not gluing any of these papers down, but then once I start to add more, I do stop the video and glue them down. So you don't see that part because all I'm doing is just gluing them and they're in the same spot. So that little butterfly, I knew I wanted to kind of tuck it underneath that little strip of paper I cut, but that strip was, you know, set pretty well down on the white paper and I couldn't push it under there. So I was just trying to cut it to the same curve of that pattern. And then I found another little piece right there, that ephemera or yeah, from the ephemera pack. And I just tacked it down right there and it covered up that little spot. So it all worked out well by the time here, I think I do have everything glued down already and I'm still finding little pieces like I said I've cut up from a pre previous layout and just other ones that I still want to cut up and tuck behind it. So that middle ephemera piece right there it says start each day with a grateful heart. That little butterfly that you see that green one on the lower um, left hand side it just says like beautiful index and that little piece beside it says life is beautiful. So I'm just finding little pieces that I like and I think that go with the layout and just make it look like it's got a lot of stuff uh, behind it but it really doesn't because it's just like cut up pieces. So anyways I'm just going to continue to layer. I do pull from the 6x12 sticker sheet as well. That's where that little stamp came from. You can see me looking through it right now and then I found another little stamp that had yellow and I thought that went well because I don't have a lot of yellow. You know I have some yellow ink on there and that little ticket above there has yellow so I wanted to add some more and I think right now I'm going to pull a lemon out and I just tucked it in right there because like I said I wanted to add a little bit more yellow to my page. And then I found some little cute hearts that I wanted to put. Now I'm going to use the thickers that come with this kit as well. And they are just called Memo. And they are like a little a gold foil uh, chipboard sticker. So you see me doing it right there. And like I said, these ones, the foam, you know, the foam thickers stick really well. But on the chipboard ones, I always have to put glue. So I stopped the video and I went ahead and I glued it all down. And it says, hello, sunshine right there. Because they had their sunglasses on. We were in California and already missing the weather from over there so I went ahead and put that down and then I went back to my sticker sheet and I found some more stickers to add below that little title so I just added this little squiggly mark one that blue sticker says I love you added a little camera and then a little heart and then I thought I was pretty much done but then I wanted to tuck a few more things so I found that doily one and cut it in half and just put it in a few places as well and then I think I'm going to add a few gold foil leaf pieces to it 
And that's it. Um, I thought I was pretty much done, but at the very, very end, you'll see me add just a little strip of paper to the bottom of the layout. I don't know, I felt like it kind of all pulled the layout together. So I'm gonna add that little strip and then I'm gonna call it done and that's it. This layout came together really, really easy. I love working with ephemera. I love cutting up pieces because I know I'm not gonna use all my ephemera anyway, so I might as well get as much use as I can out of it. I don't know, I really love this layout and Maggie Holmes, I've kind of always liked her collections anyway so they're pretty easy to work with so anyways I have some still shots coming up for you guys here so uh, check out the click kit store I will put a link below you can also use the code sandy10 and get 10% off on your order if you want to subscribe to click kits you can also use a link below to subscribe anyways I will see you guys on the next project and I hope you guys are having a good day bye